Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time, we explored the sewers of Toad Town, and we figured out pretty much everything going on down there. And we also made our way here to Shiver City, the seventh chapter of the game. This is where it is. I didn't expect it to be like this, honestly. I knew this game had a snowy area, but I didn't really know that it was somewhere in the Toad Town sewer. So we're finally here, guys, in Shiver City. If I actually look at the map, I don't really know where I'm going to be. Whoa, look at that, man. You would have never expected. We were like, where are we? We were right... What the? We were right here. And apparently, the Toad Town Tunnels got us all the way up here. That's pretty awesome. So, we are directly underneath the, uh, the Star Sanctuary, which is pretty nice. So, we have a job to do. And that is find the seventh and last Star Spirit, guys. So, anyways, before we begin, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. I would really appreciate it. I don't really know what we're going to be doing today. I think we're just going to try to explore this place. Maybe talk to these guys and find Merlin's son uh, because he is apparently the leader of this area. So, we're going to go ahead and hit up this item shop. Let's see what kind of cool items they got. Oh, see, they got the shooting star for 30 coins. They also have uh, the life shroom, which restores, which actually revives you if you uh, are KO'd. And then you have the super shroom, and this is the, uh, the store clerk. Welcome to Shiver Shop. How can I help you today? I'm here to check some items, my boy. You could check 14 more items. So let's take a look at the items we have. We have, uh, let me, ooh, look at that Wacka bump, Wacka's bump. We have, I'm going to check that in because I feel like I don't need it. Um, I'm going to keep these good items in my inventory for now just because I don't really know what to expect in this area. We're going to also send that in. I don't need that. I mean, I, I don't even know why I keep these items to begin with. What, do, what else do we got we could check in? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, you know, that definitely feels good. I don't think I need a life shroom because I don't know if I'm going to be in a situation where I'm going to get KO'd or not. And I don't really want to spend the coins on it. But uh, where to begin? This is so crazy. Oh, I could check in this toad house and maybe take a quick nap. Oh, man, look at how cozy his place is. He has a little nice fireplace, a toad mat. It's a grandma toad, too, and they got a little cute desk and a small little bed over here. This is definitely the place I would want to be if I lived in uh, if I lived in the Mushroom Kingdom. The Toad House slogan is refresh your body and soul. Do you want to take a nap? Of course I do. Sleep well. Thanks, grandma. She's the kind grandma of all the toads. All the toads probably love her, man. They come over here whenever they want some cookies and milk and a good old nap. Well, my nap was awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's get out of here now. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you see that? There was like a big hunk of bread on the table. I do not remember that being there. I got iced potato. A tough potato found in the shivering region restores 5 HP. Did that really just appear when I took the nap? I do not remember it being there. But anyways, I saw this really bizarre guy around here the other day. He was shouting like, oh, or it's freezing. And he was also going, no, Mario. Who was that nut? What the? That's kind of weird. I would be a little weird if somebody told me there was this guy shouting out my name in, in agony and whatnot. I'd be like, oh, man, who could that possibly be? I'd be scared. I think that there'd be someone after me. Starborn Valley? Oh, sure. Go east from this city. Uh, but you have to be careful. I have been a good faith that there are lots of scary monsters between here and there. Uh, the thought makes me shiver. <laughs> Get it? Because they're in Shiver City. It seems like all I can hear these days are frightening rumors. What's Shiver City coming to? Monsters, man. That's what it is. Monsters are about to take over this village. Yeah, hello. This is the northmost Berg Shiver City. You come from Toad Town very, very far away. Yeah, welcome to Shiver City. Thanks, dude. And I think, oh, the last one. This city is becoming pretty dangerous lately. I saw this totally suspicious stranger wandering around just a short time ago. He seemed to be searching for someone. I didn't like his looks. I wonder where he got off to. Whoa, that's probably the same guy they're talking about. Hey, you have... A fourth degree card? Wow, you're strong. I wish I were that strong. I'd better train harder. You better, man. But I'm telling you, there's no way you're going to get as strong as me. And I'm not even being cocky when I say that. You're probably not going to become as strong as me because I am Super Mario. 
Anyways, there is one more house that we need to check out before we can leave the main area of Shiver City. Starburn Valley and Shivers Mountain are both near, near here, but you'd better dress warmly if you plan on reaching them. So that's pretty much it. You, you, you realize I can't change my outfit, man? I mean, I'm Mario. I've never changed an outfit in my life. I guess I have when I was a baby, but there's more to this uh, place apparently. Pingy, pingy, penguin pop. Feel the rhythm. Stop and hop. Do that penguin, penguin hop. All oh, the snowmen in a line. Dude, is this guy really gonna sing to me? A bucket hat fits super fine. Eyes and nose looking cool. Bring a scarf, you pingy fool. That's cool. At least he's having a good old time in the snow. People who travel to here from other towns must think that this city is freezing cold. I'm used to it. I heard though that somewhere in the world is a hot town covered in sand. Now that would be intolerable. I agree with you. I don't believe it even exists. Hey, just because you've never seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Don't be so cl close-minded. That's like saying, you know, Pluto doesn't exist because we've never actually seen Pluto except for pictures and whatnot. Or maybe that's not a good example. Maybe something else, you know, like another galaxy. Like, think about something that you've never seen. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's probably somewhere. It's just you can't see it. Anyone for a shaved ice treat, strawberry flavor, maybe watermelon, or my personal favorite, tangy tangerine. Oh, I love frozen treats. That's all you got for me. He didn't even give me a frozen treat either. He just asked me if I wanted a frozen treat, and that was it. What about you? People who travel from here. Okay, yeah, I talked to you. Yeah, we went we went around. That was kind of weird. A really in, uh, shady individual came into the city recently. He was screaming at the top of his lungs and running around. It was really odd. I think something strange is going on in our peaceful city. Dude, that is creepy. The fact that three people have told me this. Three pengies have told me this thing. <gasps> Who could this be? Is this the one that cooks the delicious food here? Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please go right in. What is that that they got? It looks delicious. It looks like snow with like some kind of frosting. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's dead. There's a dead penguin here, guys. And there's a present. Here, I'll take this present for you off your hands. You know, you won't be needing it anymore. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's the... He has a memo in his hand. He says, Herring Way. Uh-oh. She's about to see her dead husband. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm. Oh, dear. You know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. I don't think he's... Oh, uh, she just realized it. This is the darkest I've ever seen a Mario game. No! That's probably how I imagine she would scream. Help, somebody! Anybody, my husband is dead. He's been murdered. It's a penguin murder mystery. Hey, it's a penguin murder mystery. He's actually dead. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. This is weird for a Mario game. Like, I'm not, the old Mario games were cool. It took a deep, dark turn. What's going on here, madame? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. Is this the police? Oh, look at him. This is it, the sheriff. My husband is dead. Look at him lying there. Oh, my darling husband. Somebody clipped his flippers. What? They did? I can't see. I think he has flippers. Bye, Puffin. You're right. The mayor's been murdered. This is like a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. But, madame, if I may ask, who on earth would have uh, the reason to put this penguin on ice? Hmm, right there. That man with the suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in. My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. You did it! She did it, guys. I bet you she did it. That's why she's pinning it on me. Dude. You don't accuse someone like that unless you yourself have something to hide. Hey, you mustache, are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you, uh, what do you say for yourself? I'm gonna tell you, man, I didn't do it. I got my witness, and I have five other witnesses in my party. Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got witnesses here. So do I. Isn't it that right, madam? Hey, man, I have civil rights, dude. Can I call my lawyer? He's Luigi. He'll come over here and get this all sorted out for us. Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I uh, saw it with my own eyes. Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. Yes, I am. I'm not the culprit. What? Are you nuts, man? Mario's not a murderer. That's completely ridiculous. 
Hmm. If you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case, a high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Yes, I swear. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murder. Ah, perfect! I'll give you a chance. Since you're calm, since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. Dude, that's your job, man. I'm just a visitor here. You're the investigator, not me. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Otherwise, I'm guilty, right? That is, that is the worst logic I've ever heard. He should definitely be stripped of any title he has for being in law enforcement because you suck. All right, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. Okay, well, that's it, you know? I'm pretty sure she did it. I can't believe you'd accuse me. You killed him, didn't you? I knew my instincts were right. When I saw a stranger like you out here in such a remote place, I knew that you must be up to no good. Oh, the horror, my poor, poor penguin kins. Please forgive me for letting this murderer in the house. Dude, you need to stop, you dramatic penguin. I get it, your husband's dead. It's probably very sad for you, but you probably killed him yourself. Ooh, look at this. Why are you guys all out here? Mayor Penguin was murdered in, the, in his back room and no one has the slightest idea who did it? Oh, it can't be. It's like we're in a herring way mystery novel. How could such a terrible thing happen in such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife said the man with the mustache did it. And he seemed to be such a gentleman too. Still, I guess you shouldn't trust anyone who carries such a huge hammer. Her, how terrifying. It just goes to show you that you should never trust your first impression of people. What is this game teaching you? Like, no, you shouldn't do that. You should trust people. But don't be too trustworthy. See, this woman, okay, she invited me into her house and she said, Oh, you look cold. Something, something. My husband's in the back room if you want to go talk to him. And then we went in and saw him dead. And now she's claiming, she said, that I shouldn't enter. She's flip-flopping her story pretty quickly, so I have every right to believe she did it. Or maybe she's just in shock, and she's just, you know, at that state where she wants to blame someone for something, you know? Because everybody has that, I guess. Like, if you give, if you lose something, you will try to blame someone. I don't know actually how it works, but anyways. Quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? Dude, this is not time for a quiz, dude. Come on. Uh, uh, not up for it, huh? Maybe another time. Well, well, so long. Farewell till we meet again. Did you see this guy? He's here to do a quiz. Oh, and he can't let me leave. You better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin. Until you do, I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from this spot. Oh, no, sorry. I'm serious now. There's no use trying to move me. Am I being too rude? Sorry. I will move you if I want to. You're just lucky I'm a nice guy. So we have to begin. Oh, now you probably hate me too. Look at him. Doesn't even want to look at me. There's a rumor that you married or murdered Mayor Penguin. Did you really do it? I don't think you did. I bet it was that crazy guy I saw running around the other day. He was weird. You don't look so weird, but I look a little weird, right? That's what you're trying to imply. You're going to judge me based on my looks, you freak of nature. This is the Herringway's house. He's a novelist. Herringway should be in there, but I haven't seen him lately. It's very peculiar. Peculiar something like that, man. I can't speak today. But this is his house. Look at that. He stocks up on jarred food. And he has some books. It looks like this is a door, but it's actually not. It's a shelf. He lives pretty simple. He's a simple man. He lives in one of these Minecraft houses. And then we got this place. It's locked. It's locked. You can't open it. We need a key. This building is a warehouse. Nobody can get in because some careless guard managed to lose the key to the door. I can't believe I lost it. I ought to retrace my steps. Hey, listen, if you find a key anywhere, let me know, okay? All right, I got you, man. Don't worry. So if we want to actually head to the other city, we got to go. Oh, there it is. So we, first, we got to make it stop snowing, I guess, in order to get that key. But I need some kind of fire flower, right? I said I don't talk to penguin killers. Oh, my gosh. I will destroy you. I will literally become the penguin killer you think I am. Uh, hello, you're the number one suspect in Mare's murder. You can't leave the city, not until you prove or you prove you're innocent. Okay, so trust. Uh, like, how am I supposed to do this, guys? 
Like, these guys want me to prove my innocence. And there's no... Like, I tell them I'm not innocent. Or I tell them I'm innocent. I didn't kill the guy. Oh! Hey, you guys will believe me. You guys look like you're from my town. When you hear about Shivering City ice skating is the first thing that comes to mind. Well, skiing's nice too, but not when a monster's loose. It's scary, uh, it's scary out in the snow, so city skating, we will go. Yeah, yeah, what? I don't get it. I just need to figure out how to get this key, I guess. Question is, how? I don't think any of my party members can penetrate that. Maybe if I use her, she could probably explode the ice. Hey, she did, nice. Okay, so we gotta do that, I guess, one more time. Go ahead. Boom! All right, maybe one more time, and then that will do the trick. All right, you got it? What? Ah, there we go. Perfect. And we can't even get down there. So now I need sushi. Putting her in water like this is definitely not safe, but what can I do, man? Like, what can I do? There we go. We got the key to the warehouse. All right, let's get out of here. I wonder what those, uh, what those toadettes are going to do now. Like, now that there isn't a place for them to ski. Or ice skate, I mean. Ah, the ice on the lake broke! We were just about to go ice skating! No, this is totally unfair. I was so looking forward to skating all day long. Why didn't you get on when you had the chance then? Now you're gonna blame me. Yes, we're gonna use this warehouse key. I'm not even gonna talk to the penguin, because screw the penguin. But, hey, is this a shovel? Can I get the shovel? I can't pick up the shovel. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's see what we have going on here. Oh, maybe I gotta escape this place. <gasps> oh, I totally do, don't I? Woohoo! All right, let's get in the house. Let's actually see what's inside of the chimney. Here I come, guys. Don't ever do this. <gasps> oh, who is that? What in the... Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through the chimney. Ingenious. All right, hey, I need I need your help, dude. You wrote some novel, and now help me, sp you know, do whatever your novelists, I guess. I don't know. We're getting help from this guy because he writes books about murder cases. And apparently, if he can write a book about a murder case, he clearly knows how to solve a murder case because he writes about murders and solving them and all that good stuff. So, I'm Herringway the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? I have never heard of you before till today. What? Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I am the chief suspect? You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I did no such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop in uh, at the mayor's house. Wait, wait, you're leaving me? Engage, stairs. Wait, he's leaving me? Oh my gosh, he's leaving me. All right then, come on, let's go to the mayor's house. Okay, man, I guess here we go to the mayor's house to figure out who did this murder. All right, let's go, man. I Don't worry, I'm following you, dude. You lead the way, boss. Big boss. Where's, where'd he go? I don't see him. He's legit gone now. Hopefully, I don't have to battle any one of these guys because I'm, I'm kind of just looking to have a chillaxed episode today where I don't have to battle him, but if I do, that's also fine. I'm going to switch out to Bo. Just because I like Bo. She's my, uh, she's my favorite. All right, let's go in. No, wow, you slammed the door in my face. All right, let's go. There we go. He's here. Oh, you again? Have you come up with anything? Hmm. Say, is it that penguin behind you, the mystery novel writer named Herringway? I guess. Yes, that's him. What? What? Mayor Penguin was cl clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it. Bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. He is, hmm, he definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course, it's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. So, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer. It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Hmm, yes, yes, you were good friends. Aha, but that's just a cover so no one would suspect uh, you of, his, uh, of this hinuous crime. That's it, isn't it? I solved the crafty mystery. Oh no, come on, really, you simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Come on, dude, he writes books for a living. 
This dude doesn't just go with the flow and do the obvious. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been writing in, or I've been working on in my house on a new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill the man. I just like to say I'd still think the man with the mustache is the most. Shut up, man. Dude, don't talk to me or my son ever again. And by my son, I mean my daughter, a.k.a. Bo. Hmm, this penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. I don't think he's dead, guys. He's kind of moving. Uh... Oh, my aching ouch. <laughs> my husband's returned. He's a ghost. He's not dead, you fool. Oh, good gracious. Hello, everyone. What's going on here? What, what, Mayor? We, uh, we thought you were dead. Our backroom murder mystery is a wash. What a plot twist. Huh? What are you talking about? Um, I think I seem to remember going to the shelf to get this souvenir for Herringway. Oh, yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. Oh, my gosh. That makes sense. Nobody killed the penguin. Here you are, Hemingway. This is what I was reaching for. Toad Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hub hub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But, Mayor, here we were thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was, our, was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. And next time, don't accuse me of being the murderer. Ah, yes, so sorry. Ah, I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything okay now, the marriage is fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Do you have anything to say, Mrs. Uh, Mayor, over here? Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason, I always end up causing a ruckus. Hello. Sorry about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You'd better bundle up. All right, thanks. What about you? Uh, I knew you were innocent the whole time. Oh, shut up! I really want to kill her now. Let's actually make a legit penguin murder mystery happen today. A backroom murder case, please. How completely silly. That's overzealous guard must read too many mystery novels. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. Yeah, play it off like you weren't pointing fingers at me this entire time. She is so two-faced, man. Anyways. I'm glad all that's over with, man. This is how I'm invited to the city. Accused of murdering the mayor. Not cool, man. But hey, it was actually a very, very fun thing to do. And I'm glad we experienced it. So, that is pretty much it for this episode. We gotta explore Shiver City. Uh, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. But hey, we're heading east in the next episode to make our way to Starborn Valley. Which is the next area of the game. I'm pretty sure it's also gonna be a snowy area of the game as well. So... That's also exciting. But anyways, thank you all for watching once again, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.